hello friends uh, i will cover engineering thermodynamics the first concept is macroscopic versus microscopic approach macroscopic approach as name suggests macro means large so when a system is there which consists a large number of particles and uh, when we are taking the property of the system let's say pressure temperature then we take the average property of all these particles rather than in a concentration is given on the individual particle when we are talking about the microscopic approach here the concentration is given on the individual particle for example uh, if we want to measure the temperature of the system then if we'll, when we'll put the thermometer here and then thermometer is showing the temperature reading is let's say 250 degree centigrade so this 250 degree centigrade temperature uh, doesn't mean the temperature of all individual particles some of the particle may be having the temperature of 249 degree centigrade and some of the particle may have the temperature of 251 degree centigrade or any other temperature so uh, the point is that uh, the average temperature of all this particle is 250 degree centigrade so here we have seen the property of the system at a macro perspective where in case of the microscopic properties uh, the attention is given on the individual particle and individual particle if having the temperature of 251 degree centigrade then we will say this particle is having the temperature of 251 degree centigrade in uh, engineering thermodynamics we most of the time uh, our system will be considered as a macroscopic system not as a microscopic system microscopic system to get the property of the uh, system uh, we have to use the statistical tools uh, like root mean square averaging all these things so it comes under statistical thermodynamics wherein uh, macroscopic uh, approach uh, it comes under a classical thermodynamic uh, in uh, next slide i will be covering some notes on the macroscopic system and microscopic uh, system and also we'll cover an example so to get the more uh, detail and also to have a, a notes about the macroscopic approach so in case of the macroscopic approach uh, a certain quantity of matter is considered without taking into account the event occurring at molecular level so this is very important we do not concentrate at the molecular level and the analysis of macroscopic system does not require the knowledge of individual particles since we are not concentrating on a molecular level so we need not to know what is the individual particle what the system made of what kind of particles we just know the average property of the system and we are not bothered about what is the particle inside the system macroscopic effect uh, of the action of many particles and the average value of number of particles so it is uh, have the averaging of a number of particles and this system is studied as a classical thermodynamics the example is that uh, tire pressure measured at the station so uh, when we are measuring tire pressure the pressure shown is the average pressure of all the air if uh, tire is filled with the air so it's average pressure of all the particles inside the tire in microscopic approach the microscopic point of view system is made of very large number of discrete particles known as molecules and atoms so here the attention is given on the molecules and atoms and we need the uh, we need to have the knowledge of uh, behavior of individual particles to understand the property of an individual particle microscopic properties are effect of action of individual particle as we discussed and since we used uh, use statistical tools uh, to understand the property so it comes under statistical thermodynamic so example is the uh, properties of uh, atom or molecules uh, is comes under microscopic approach so we just have uh, a diagram uh, uh, explaining microscopic and macroscopic properties so here you see here a large number of particles are there and uh, we are studying an individual particle it comes under a microscopic world where in case of the macroscopic the system is seen as a as not as a particle level but as a 
hole and here we are referring pressure temperature all the properties not in i denomination uh, and uh, we are just taking as a whole pressure temperature values we'll solve one problem on the macroscopic uh, and microscopic system so here this problem is basically on the microscopic thermodynamic system so the problem says that which of the following aspect is not true regarding microscopic property of the thermodynamics so which is not true uh, so the knowledge of structure of matter is essential in case of microscopic Option B is a limited number of variable and properties are needed to describe the state of matter. Option C, the value of this variable cannot be measured. Option D is static, statistical averaging is adopted to predict the behavior of individual particle. So option A is true because we need to have the knowledge of a individual matter. In case of microscopic system, a limited number of variable and property needed to describe this matter. So uh, this is not true because we may need as many variables as required case of macroscopic also in microscopic. So there is no bifurcation in terms of number of variables. The value of this variable cannot be measured. Uh, yes, so we have to use the statistical means to get the value of uh, particles in microscopic uh, and it cannot be measured unlike the macroscopic system so this statement is also true and statistical averaging is adopted to predict the behavior of individual particle yes we are using the statistical means so i think the option b is correct because uh, there is no limitation of the number of variables <clears throat> So this was the problem on microscopic properties.